welcome to Den of Tools. Howdy ho, guys and gals. It's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old Den of Tools. And we have, yes, more. I know it just cannot stop, can it? More Black Friday savings for you from one of my favorite places to shop. And that, of course, is the old tractor supply. Check this out. We got Tuesday through Saturday, November 24th through the 28th. Thank goodness the store is closed on Thanksgiving. Big props to Tractor Supply for, for making that call. Uh, you know, people need to spend time with their families. We don't need to be out shopping on Thanksgiving. We don't need people working on Thanksgiving other than, of course, those essential people. And, you know, God love you for, for doing that job. But that said, we're, not only are there going to be savings for uh, those weeks, we're going to also have some bonus items for sales that are going on right now. Now, the first thing I want to talk about here is we got Carhartt here. Uh, so this is $40, say $15 Carhartt's men's rain defender graphic sweatshirt. These are the great sweatshirts, just great sweatshirts. How good a price is this? Well, if you guys remember, if you've been around the channel, you know, my favorite place for buying Carhartt is super casuals because they offer Carhartt authorized They're They are, I should say a Carhartt authorized dealer. They're, in fact, they're the exclusive factory seconds dealer. And this is, so, you know, you get one-off kind of stuff. You know, things that have minor glitches and stuff with them. This is their price on a Factory Seconds sweatshirt that's a rain defender. It doesn't have the graphic, but it's the Factory Seconds for $40. Here you're paying the same price for brand new with, with the lovely graphic. I mean, come on, that's a great price. In fact, I went and looked at a lot of the Carhartt stuff, and they are pretty much at the same price I would normally pay throughout the rest of the year for a Factory Second. This is a great sale. So we below that, we've got the Carhartt men's and women's Rain Defender uh, full zip-up fleece line sweatshirts, $50. That's more my jam. I love the zip-up fleece kind of stuff. Next to that, we got muck boots. Men's muck, woody sport, mossy oak, rubber boot there, $110. We got <laughs> stuffed chickens and toys and all sorts of other stuff. They got 50% off all toys. And then check this out, $120 off. A select ride in toys. Yeah, that's a that's a Mack truck. I kid you. Look at that thing. It's insane. Born ready. It's four hundred dollars. But oh my gosh, look at that. I wish they made it my size. Oh wait, they do. <laughs> They're called Mack trucks. Anyway, I wish they were four hundred dollars. <laughs> that thing is super cool. My Cubs this morning were like, "Really? Can we get one?" I'm like, "You're still not gonna fit in it." Uh, <laughs> right. Moving on, we got some. Uh, Justin Men's Stampede work boots. They're very stylish there. They're 40 bucks off, taking it down to $69.99. 25% all Christmas decor. Love, the wife and I love shopping at Tractor Supply and buying all sorts of kitschy stuff for around the house. 25% off for Christmas. You got to love that. Men's Mountain Club Quarter Zip Fleece, $14.99. 50% off. That's a good deal. There's a lot of good deals on clothes. When they have sales at Tractor Supply, they have good sales. Now, one thing I will say is if you go to Tractor Supply, you got to look for the little corners of every department because they have clearance sections and their clearance uh, prices are phenomenal usually. Uh, we got throw blankets, 40% off. We have tons of these things all over the house. Furniture and decor and the Blue Mountain Hooded Jacket. This is $30 off. This is kind of like your, you know, not a Carhartt, a Carhartt at not Carhartt prices kind of thing. Still for $30, it's a good jacket. All right, moving along. Next page, we got actual Carhartt, the traditional, the big boy men's Carhartt jacket there for $90. Uh, that's saving $20 and 15% off insulated outerwear and winter accessories for the family. Uh, we got more stuff here. I'm not going to go through all the clothing here. I will have a link to the ad down below so you can go check it out. Uh, they've, we've got more muck boots. Uh, some Western style boots, hiking boots, all sorts of footwear, jackets, and thermal kind of stuff. All right, next page, we got, look at this, Ingersoll Rand, the big boy, 80-gallon compressor, two-stage. This is a big, serious compressor for $1,000. That's 100 bucks off. Below that, we got save $100 off of the uh, Simpson powered by Honda 3300 PSI pressure washer. That's a gas pressure washer, of course. Saving 100 bucks on that. And we got saving 100 bucks off the Champion 75, uh, was it 7,500 7, watt Champion dual fuel generator? The dual fuel is nice. Not sure I would get that over one of the Harbor Freight Predators, but still, that's pretty good. Now, in the upper right, we got some real tools. We got Makita. You know, I'm a big fan of the Makita Blue there. 
buy a Makita 18 volt brushless two piece combo kit and get one of these tools free. Uh, you're looking at either getting the recip saw or the blower. Personally, I think I would go with the recip saw. Kind of, kind of a no brainer there for me. Uh, below that, we got the 2300 PSI Simpson. Uh, this is an electric pressure washer, so not powered by Honda. Uh, for 179, eh. And then uh, we got the uh, eight foot round top garage in a box. I'm kind of scoffing at this because you know we're here in Livingston, Montana, which is known as one of the windiest places in the U.S. And today it is living up to the uh, the dream. We're getting 40 mile an hour winds with gusts up to 50, and uh, it's just just doing a number on the town right now. And one of these would make an excellent kite. Just just a beautiful kite right now. Uh, below that, look at this. We got if you like the Dewalt hand tools, here's a deal for you: hundred bucks, 247 piece Dewalt mechanics tool set. That's a nice little, you know, if you want to start off in the dual hand tools, if you like them, man, that's a great way to get started. And then next to that, we got a gear wrench ratcheting wrench set for $70. Now, this is a 32 piece. So essentially, this is like the other uh, uh, ones that we've, the 20 piece sets that we've been looking at, except they've added a set of stubbies to it as well. So if you're looking to really get into the gear wrench one, that seems like a good choice to go. Normally you're seeing it for 50 bucks. You add the stubbies for another 20. That seems like a pretty good choice to me. All right. And then down here, we got some cabinets. Now I'm going to say about the cabinets, the first one, four drawer tool cart for 150 bucks. That's kind of like your average price for the Harbor Freight one. Maybe you like this style better. That's great if that's what you want to do. But next to that, look at this. We got save a hundred bucks, nine drawer tool chest and cabinet. It's 34 inches wide by 61 something inches high. Now, if you remember, we are looking at the cobalt one we've been seeing from Lowe's. I'm a big fan of that. Very similar in the kind of makeup. This this style, shut up, Moto. This old style of chest is uh it's very common these days. We're seeing them all over the place. In fact, normally $500, which is where I would expect to see these couple caveats with this. It does not have the power strip in it, at least not that I can see. I don't see a power. Usually right here on the right hand side, you'll see a power strip, a couple USB ports. I don't even see the pass throughs on this, which is a bit disconcerting. Now, some of these will often see them where the drawers on the top are split. And clearly this is slightly smaller because the, the third drawer on the cobalt ones are a, a double depth drawer. So it's a little bit smaller. Here's the one takeaway from this though, is the, the, uh, the depth on this. If we look down here, it's saying that the product depth is 24 inches. That's phenomenal for a cabinet like this. So you're looking at 34 by 61 by 24. That, that would be, that's a ton of storage for something like this especially at that price of $400. I think at $400 for something that's 24 inches deep, I think I can get my whole saw out, cut a pass through, put my own power strip in there. I think I'll be okay. 25% uh, off vehicle lighting and LED light bars. They have some de decent stuff there. It's not the most top of the notch kind of stuff, uh, but it, it's decent, especially if you're looking to put it on like an ATV or a golf cart or any your kind of outdoor, you know, a trail kind of accessory kind of stuff. All right, next, speaking of, of trail stuff we've got the coleman 196 cc mini bike extreme this is not mini you know when they say mini they think you know you think small like tiny this is like a mid-size they should call them a mid-size bike not a mini bike uh i can ride one of these in fact i used to have not the coleman version but i had one of the same style the baja 500 or 5 that whatever they called it Love that thing. I've been tempted uh, to get another one. They're so much fun to tool around in. Uh, anyway, $600, that's a, a pretty good deal. They've gone up in price over the past couple of years, but mainly a lot of that was to deal with some of the emission stuff that, uh, you know, the rules and regulations kind of stuff. So uh, $600 these days for brand new is not a bad price. All right, next to that, we got the Zero Turn Mower, uh, the Bad Boys MZ Magnum. <laughs> sure, Okay. Anyway, save $500. It's, it's $3,000 now. 20% off of all fireplace accessories. I, I like the wood storage there. I could use something like that. All right. And then uh, we got next to it here, or I'm sorry, down here, we've got $90. Save me $30. Sorry, it's $100. Save me $30 off the Mr. Heater, Big Buddy Heater with blower. That's going to spread that heat around. Again, these are, you know, be careful with the propane stuff. Most of them are not for indoor use. The the big buddy here, they are usually rated for indoor use. Just make sure it says it on it when you buy it. 
Uh, we got, say, $50 off a 100-pound propane tank. All sorts of fun stuff you could do with that, huh? All right, and then we got 20% off fire pits, fire rings, and patio heaters. You know, I've been toying with making a fire pit, but there's so many nice ones out there you can just buy, and they're so cheap when you, when they go on sale. Uh, I don't know. I, I may end up just grabbing one of these, although I don't think there is a tractor supply near me. Hopefully, Murdoch's or somebody around here will have one on sale. Then below this, I'm a huge fan of these heaters. These are the infrared 1500-watt redstone infrared walnut cabinet a lot of different iterations of this thing seventy dollars is a decent price on one of those saving thirty dollars but you want to talk about savings look at this the redstone electric stove with three side viewing i know it's not a real fire but it still gives you that real fire you know warm and cozy kind of feeling i love the look of that especially because they also make a nice little thing you can set drinks and stuff on, on top i think about getting one of these for the shed once we get that finished fifty dollars that's a great price on that and check this out you're looking for a, a lift for your uh, your lawn tractor and stuff 550 pound capacity mojack hydraulic mower lift hundred dollars all right moving on we got we got some more power tools here we got dewalt 20 volt lithium ion impact driver or grease gun kit with battery and charger that's 180 dollars then below that we have the starter kit from uh from dewalt this is one i typically tell people to avoid uh, it, it is as base level as it gets. Honestly, it shouldn't even have the DeWalt name on it. I wouldn't even put the Porter Cable name. This is more of a Black & Decker level kind of quality, if you ask me. $140 there. Uh, it comes with probably the, the most ridiculous batteries in the power tone market for somebody at, at that brand level. They're 1.3s. There's no light on them. They're, t they're usually cheap LG cells. Really disappointed with DeWalt still selling this product. All right. Uh, and to the right, though, DeWalt stuff I do like. DeWalt makes some great compressors. They really do. I, I don't know how they got so good at it, but they, they found the way to do it. for uh, And for 25% off, some of these can be some really good deals. So I would be happy to look at those. We got 20% off all knives and multi-tools. We got 20 bucks off the uh, mobile cellular uh, trail camera there. Then we got, uh, we got some engine oil. We got premium tractor fluid. 25% uh, off aluminum truck boxes. That might be something to look at. Then down here, we've got the Pelican Spirit Paddle uh, Kayaks, because nothing says kayaking like wintertime. I guess you could kayak down the slopes. I've seen people do it. Uh, but, you know, you, you, want, you know, spring's not that far away, right? It's only a paw full of months off. You, you, why not? You know, give yourself a nice little gift, you know, get ready for spring. And then next to that, we got a pellet grill. As you all know, I'm a, a recent convert to the old pellet grill kind of thing. We got the Embers pellet grill, tra sorry, the Trail Embers pellet grill. Uh, save $50. It takes it down uh, from $300 to $250. I'll be honest, I know nothing about this brand. Uh, I did a quick little search on it. I couldn't really find much about it. Uh, if you guys have any experience with them, let me know. Because for people looking, you know, on a budget, looking to get into pellet grilling, seems like a, a, a good price point. Seems like it's a decent size and everything else. But again, I don't have any experience with them, so it's hard to say. Moving along. Oh, this is this is the bread and butter for tractor supply. If you ask me when it comes to Black Friday, we got we got safes, 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 and more good safes. In fact, they're so good, I need to cover everything else on this page because we're going to spend some time talking about big metal cabinets. All right, first though, 60 bucks you can save on a Poulin Pro two cycle gas chainsaw. And then the 36 inch Blackstone propane grill, I, or griddle, I'm sorry. I gotta tell you, I've been talking to a whole bunch of people about outdoor cooking and stuff. You, they, a lot of people talk about which charcoal or gas or pellet grills, but inevitably when you look at the pictures of their backyard setup, they'll have whatever, and then they have a Blackstone griddle. That it's, it's almost like the default at this point. Uh, so I don't think I'd have any problem buying that. If you got a big family, you need to cook a lot, doing a lot of breakfast kind of stuff or, or whatnot, that would be the way to go. Then we got some good sales on it, some dog food. We got crates for the cubs, uh, 40 pound wing black oil sunflower seed. Uh, we got, oh, look at this 25 ton log splitter. I, I'd love to get that. I don't need a place to park it. I have four vehicles. We Guys, I don't know. I, I bought a Suburban yesterday, uh, an older, a 99 Suburban, 166,000 miles. Uh, we're going to be doing a whole video on it here coming up so you can see what we got. But anyway, yeah, I don't have any place else to park anything, much less a trailer will log splitter. Look at this. This is what I've been talking about. The the tr 
tractor supply just really kills it when it comes to utility trailers and this is a great one if you've been looking to get in on you know a nice simple basic utility trailer i have this exact utility trailer uh, and i have towed this we bought it when we lived in the central valley i've towed it from there to montana multiple times all around california we uh towed uh you know i built sidewalls for it if you've seen the pictures of it we we towed our when we moved our to vegas we towed all our stuff there to vegas we've towed from there back and forth multiple times to montana this thing has been Oh, uh, through hot, through cold, through freezing, through rain, covered in snow right now, covered in snow. It, you, you can't kill the thing. I had a blowout going way too fast with it on the highway, being a stupid bear, trying to make good time. And, you know, pulled over the side of the road, banged out the, the, the wheel cover, put a new tire on it, and we were back on the road. It was not fun, but it, I mean, it works. It's just, I'm really stunned with what you can get for the price $700 I would say put down a wood floor on it that mesh is just too soft but I've seen what people ask for used trailers and the I don't know what they're doing licking possums or something they're they are high as a kite anyway uh just get one of these be done with it build some sidewalls for it if you need they're super easy to do uh we got a five gallon uh VP racing plus tractor fluid are are people racing tractors what have we got the i don't i'm not i'm done i'm just done right race whatever you want i don't care anymore all right let's go back and let's talk about these gun safes because i've probably told you all year long that when it comes if you're looking for a gun safe what you need to do is that you need to wait you just need to wait for black friday for tractor supply and here it is right there there it is and that we've got the 64 gun cannon wide body safe for eight hundred dollars that's that's insane for that it says fire rated to 60 minutes at 1200 degrees you know here's the deal with this i get lots of people going oh it's not a real safe it's a security cabinet yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't want to hear you whine about it if you're going to whine about it go whine to somebody who who cares i'm not going to listen to you about this because these are good quality home safes you remember the first rule when it comes to security is obscurity all right. I don't care how if you got yourself your you know your five thousand dollar Liberty safe. That's fantastic. A guy with a twenty dollar grinder uh, and some time can still get into it. It's gonna happen. The thing is, you you got gotta have the first level is obscurity. Second thing is, you can't let them sit there and have all day at it. Uh, you, you gotta have some sort of security system, something at home that's going to not let them take two hours to go to work on it. The other thing is, you gotta bolt it down. You gotta get it up against at least two walls one wall i mean if you only get it against one wall i get it you want it against two and three if if you if you're lucky uh, and that's how you get the real security when it comes to these things personally i use these things for you know protecting against convenient kind of kind of theft uh you know somebody breaks in while you're gone and they're not a professional thief or something they're trying to get in they're not going to get in this the kids aren't going to get in there and get the things that go boom that they're not supposed to do your your buddy's shifty cousin who likes to make things disappear he's not going to get into this either so you know that's what these things are good for but again you know obscurity is the best thing as far as fire rating what we do is we take our really super important documents and stuff that we have in there and we buy a fire bag and put them in the fire bag in the fire safe they're going to be fine. They say, you know, two is one, one is none. That's the double layer of security that we use. It doesn't cost an arm and a leg. We didn't have to spend five grand on a, on a big old safe that won't honestly fit in our house. Okay, I know the bear's gone on and on about this. So we got, look at this one. If you've got a smaller house and you've got a smaller budget, $300. In fact, let's take a look at these, shall we? Look, at here's the 80-gun the wide body safe. This thing is beautiful. I know I had the 40-gun or 40 eight gun wide body safe from uh, tractor supply at our play our old place and that was fabulous if you have not seen my video i did a video about the new safe that we got recently it's much smaller much less expensive but we bought it because we're in an a really old house that's really small and it couldn't the floors could not support a safe like this i wish they could because i would be more than happy to buy one of these again uh, th this is look at, look at that you just press a button fully stocked i i wish my safe had that feature anyway these are great consumer grade uh safe uh you know lockbox kind of things eight hundred dollars i'd be happy to buy one of those 
This, if you're looking for something you don't have quite the room or quite the budget, just a little bit smaller here, 36 gun. Look at that. You got tons of storage, good modularity, everything in it. These are great, great values. And that's at $500. What about at, well, sorry, what was it? It was $300. $300? Are you kidding me? And guess what? That's not all. We got more. Yep, they're having a sale right now. I think it lasts until the 15th, so you got to get on this. We got 50% or 50 bucks off, 50 bucks off, 100 bucks off, 200 bucks off. So currently that that 60 gun wide body, that's on sale right now. So you don't even have to wait to Black Friday to pick that one up. We got the Liberty here for 100 bucks off, 200 bucks another Liberty here. We I mean, look at I'm just going to step through these there's so many deals here that uh, I can't cover them all. Again, I'll have links down below so you can check them out. All right, enough about those. Let's move on. There we got 50% off all your uh, country line, livestock, feeders, farm gates, across your farm, you know, farm kind of equipment. Uh, we got sweet feed and cattle cubes. And look at this, chicken coop. Justin Dow, are you watching this? Look at the, like, you just bought a chicken coop. He just made a, he made a chicken coop for his family. I'm just giving him a hard time. Uh, the uh, And let's see what else we got here over here. And last savings, we got more, uh, more dog food, kit and caboodle, all sorts of fun stuff. Beds for the pets. They love that stuff. Again, if the cubs are getting out of hand, here's a five by 10 foot by six uh, kennel there. 256, that'll settle them right down. Believe you me. Well, all right, that's all the bear has for you for today. Uh, don't forget to chomp the old like button and subscribe and ring that bell because we got more <laughs> More Black Friday stuff coming at you. We got more. We got Farm and Fleet, Rural King. Uh, there's going to be more iterations coming out of Home Depot and, and Walmart as well. Because remember, Black Friday isn't one day. It isn't even just five days. It's pretty much all month. All these different stores, they're spreading the love around. And we're going to be covering it all. So uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the savings. Get your early Christmas shopping done, right? All right, that's all the bear has for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.